Hello, today I'm at the Del Sol Community, a Shea home development located over on the east end of Ventura in the Wells neighborhood, which is close to the Satikoi neighborhood. This time, we're gonna be like the Discovery Channel, and I'm gonna have a three-part series. Yes, three-part! The first one is today, where we're gonna be talking about the townhomes that are in this development. Part two will be Novato, and part three will be the Fresco. Those are both single-family homes, and they range in sizes. If you're looking to purchase new construction homes or any home, make sure you contact us first because not only do we give five-star service, but we also give you 10% of our commission at time of closing. When you're looking to move to Ventura, a lot of people have a vision of it being a small beach town. However, there are four really distinct feelings, and the East End has more of a suburban feeling. Satikoi and Wells have a lot of the new development going on here because when you want to be able to have an area for new homes, not just condos and on top of each other townhomes, you need to have space, and the East End had space. The East Side does have some farm patches. They're like pocket farms. You're not going to be seeing rows and rows of agriculture with a home dispersed here and there. Instead, you're going to see rows and rows of homes with a farm here and there. And while this side does have most of the newer homes built in Ventura, it still seems to have that same issue as all of Ventura with their streets. Lots and lots of potholes. Some residents have expressed a desire to have a real supermarket or grocery store, such as Trader Joe's or Vaughn's or Ralph's up in the Satikoi Wells neighborhood. However, there isn't any in the works at this moment. But with all of the building and new construction going on up there, I think it's only a matter of time. However, Vaughn's is only about eight minutes away, Trader Joe's a little over 11 minutes away, and the collections with Whole Foods is 15 minutes away. These are just some of the many options of things and activities to do to make friends, but also to enjoy living here in Ventura. The east side has an aquatic center where you have swimming and a play structure, and you also have water polo. There are camps for the kids and also great activities for adults, such as dance classes and bus tours and volunteer opportunities. Senior activities like line dancing, billiards, tai chi, and adult senior fitness classes, <laughs> such as hoop habit, hoop dance, and Nia dance fitness. Classes like ceramics, painting, dancing. And for those of you who really enjoy outdoor activities, Juana Maria Park on the east side has pickleball and tennis courts. Feel free to also be part of a sports league such as basketball, ultimate frisbee, and volleyball. And if you're new to the area, looking to meet new people, sign up as a free agent and they will help you join a team. I couldn't say living inventory without mentioning the activities on the ocean such as sailing, kayaking, paddle boarding, and there are classes for all of these activities. The Satikoi Golf Course is located here on the East End and while the other golf courses in Ventura are impacted sometimes by flooding, Satikoi is not. There's not a lot of restaurants in Wells and Satikoi, however there is one that we definitely want to make sure you know about and that's Cafe 126. It's a small restaurant, however it has big flavor. Patrons recommend the Western bacon burger and fries and also they recommend the pancakes they're like grandma makes. If you're not looking for a sit-down breakfast then right next door is citrus donuts where you can just pop in and get a donut and some coffee to go. The Primero townhomes that are being built here are absolutely stunning and they're going to be building 109 of them. You have a choice between four different models however there are only three of them that were shown. You have a choice between three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three bathrooms. They range between the mid 1600s to 1900 square feet, and the prices range between 700 to 800. fun to see a model home, and Shea Homes does not disappoint. But let's think about what this would look like if it was just a regular, not fully upgraded house. What does it come with? So the standard home, you're looking at, instead of quartz canders in the kitchen, granite counters. And this large farmer sink would be undermount stainless steel sink. So still very beautiful. 
These appliances would also still be stainless steel and Whirlpool, which is still a very good brand. You're still going to get this little extra drawer to put in your trash or recycling. Another nice touch that comes standard is this undermount lighting. In the bathroom, you're seeing pretty much what you're going to get, except for the countertop has been upgraded to a higher end quartz, so you'll still get quartz. And you're still going to be getting this undermounted sink, which is what I talked about in the kitchen. The shower is fiberglass, which tends to last 10 to 15 years. The upgrades in the primary bathroom are the upgraded counter. You'll still get quartz, just not this high-end quartz. The full backsplash of the whole wall, the tile in the shower, and also the seat. you have in option one are these darker cabinets. The non-upgraded cabinets are white. We also have this double door fridge. There's an undermounted sink like this one, however, it would be stainless steel. And of course, the countertops are upgraded. Right now, these are quartz, where the base model would have two millimeter granite. Here's one of the options that you're able to see also is that it has a pantry. One of the nice touches I've noticed in a lot of new builds recently is that the ceilings are really tall. You're looking at nine to 10 feet. Room, you're looking at quartz counters still, but a two millimeter versus this thicker quartz. And also there is an option to remove the medicine cabinet, which they've done in this one. So it comes with medicine cabinet if you would like it. Also the backsplash doesn't go up to the ceiling. The seat is also an upgrade and so are these lovely doors. Model 2 has this little den here, and the upgrades are these floating shelves and the built-in desk, which is great unless you decide to use this more like a sitting room or a little visiting room. Kitchen has an upgraded gray cabinetry, which would be white, and also this really beautiful quartz countertop. And, and here's a stainless steel sink, which you would also have as an undermount. I believe that this model actually shows you what type of sink that you would have. Just like in all the rest, the undermounted lighting comes with this. However, the backsplash is upgraded. And and it has its wonderful non-option, it's here if you want it, walk-in pantry. 
I love to play hide and seek. When Hannah was little, I would hide in little areas like this and around the corner. But now she's, you know, 19 and so she doesn't play that with me. So I have our dogs and our cats and I'll just hide in a place like this and then go boo and then we'll play with Chase. That's another thing. You can call this the the walk-in hide and seek room. office in a nook in your stairway as everybody's going up and down and into their bedrooms and bathrooms and doing the laundry and if you can hear it kind of echoes in here I think it'd be really hard to have a little office in here but uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think what would you use this space for I think what I would use it for is just um, some more storage like for my books or something primary bedroom has an optional barn door to shut off the bathroom from everything and also an optional sound system. This primary bathroom shows you the height of the backsplash that, that comes normally with the house. However, the countertops are still upgraded. Just like in all of the other primary bathrooms, that seat is optional and an upgrade. That little shelf that you can put your soap in, that does come with the base bathroom. The fence in the backyard is about six feet and it's large enough to be able to have a small backyard barbecue with friends. They're still building the pool area and the clubhouse. If you want to learn more about this development or any other place in all of Ventura County, then make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us over an email. We would love to help you find your dream home. And if you're looking to sell your home to move here or anywhere else in Ventura County, then make sure you ask us about our discount we give our sellers 